Cho here, and it's Friday. It's Friday already. A another week been, another week gone. Now it was a great week, wasn't it? All that snow, it's been fantastic. What a fun week. We had fun, didn't we? Fun, 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 fun. Sorry, apart from, apart from one person, so I've got, got, got to keep it down a bit. Out Cho's feeling a bit ill. He yeah, got a bit carried away with the burger van in the BBC car park. Ate a few too many burgers. I think you're regressing it now, though, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Don't know my body. No? What would help? Burger. A burger? Day. Yeah, yeah, you got ill because you ate too many burgers, didn't no. you? So I think having another burger probably isn't the right thing to do. So, so tell what, let's watch some telly, shall we? That's always good when you're ill, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, watch the slammer. Oh, Run the slammer! Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Run the slammer! <laughs> Oh, that was great, wasn't it? Oh, I love that human slinky guy. He's brilliant. Oh, sorry, yes, yes. Uh, Outcho's feeling a bit ill because he's eating too much junk food this week. The Akbatarala models. Yeah, all right, yeah. Uh, Shirley, can you turn the lights down a bit? Oh, Daniel Jerry. Well, this isn't very good, is this? Huh? No one's going to enjoy watching this. Us sitting here with the lights turned down in silence. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I know you're ill, but we're hardly doing our job, are we? No, no, we can't do it. Shirley, turn the lights up again, mm -hmm. will you? No. Oh. We'll, we'll tell you what, have, have a look at a clip from uh, Crisis Control today, yeah? Give you a little oh, taste of what the show's about. If somewhere in the world there's an emergency, six specially trained children scramble to respond. Are you ready for duty? Yes. Commander. Ready to take control in a crisis. Radar, radar. One minute, come on, come on, come on. Which team can keep calm under pressure? I think they've gone wrong somewhere. And win the golden emblem. Guys, it's getting very, very hard. Crisis Control. Every Friday, 4.30 p.m. on the CBBC channel. We need to get out of here, guys. There could be radiation. Oh, that's coming up at 4.30 today. Well, I'm having a clue for you. No, you're not having a crisis. You're just ill because you ate too much junk food. I don't know what mum would be Yes, yes, I do know what would make it better. A burger. Indeed. Yeah, you're not having one. Ah, watch the news round ah. instead. <laughs> it's Friday! Oh. And Outcho's feeling ill! I don't know what I'm gonna be bad of. Okay, I can think of something that might make you feel better. Hmm. How about people dressed as superheroes running around trying to save the world? Mothers? Yeah, yeah, have a look at this. These items won't save the world. They're here as a distraction. What's this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tickle it! No, I'm no, not it's... sure why she thinks tickling the world will help. We need some scissors. Look at this bit here! An air freshener won't help either. Oil! To save the world, they just need to read the message hidden in the envelope above the door. So bad. simple. Uh, that's tomorrow, CBBC on BBC Two at nine. Don't miss it. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. But I need a bit of Oh, you need something to cheer you up now. Uh, OK, how about I sing you a song? No. Uh, I'll get you some chicken soup. No. Uh, how about this? <gasps> yeah? The Shredder. The Shredder, do you? Yes, yeah. Yeah, we can have a look at some Shredder pictures. Yeah, I'll be better on one of You feel better already? Yeah. Great, we'll do that after get 100. I am a dog ass, I'm not a dog ass. No, I'm not going to get you 100 burgers. You are ill. You're in the CBBC office with Ed and Ill Outcho. <laughs> yeah, he ate too many burgers. <sighs> and now he's paying the price. <sighs> Still, have a look at this. Look what it's well, look what time it is. <laughs> see Daddy! Yeah, you see? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 you see? Oh, yeah, that's cheered you up a bit, isn't it? Oh, Let's have yeah. a look at some pictures of yours that we'll be shredding at ten past six. Ah. Hmm. What have we got? Oh. Could it be yours? Could it be yours if you sent one in? <laughs> well, it is! Da -da! If your name 
is Alessandra Moxie and you live in Lamford. This is a this is a picture of us. At least I think it's both of us. Well, there's you there. It's a florist, and you're going. How did I get here? And then I think this is me. I'm going. Well, don't look at me. I just work here. Yeah, I've been a lot of the Buddhas. You'd be at home in a florist. <laughs> yes, yes, you would, I suppose. I don't want to be bored now. Hmm? I don't want to be bored now. Oh right. Oh yeah. Well, no. Yes, you could end up in anyone's house, couldn't you? Hey. Mm. But we'll shred that, definitely. Ten past six, because we like it so much. And then there's this one here, Harriet Lankins. Sorry, Larkins sent in this one. Ah. She's from Dudley. And it's me on X Factor. Ah. And me, I'm singing Elvis songs. <laughs> look at that. I think I look pretty cool there. But yeah. you're not very impressed. You're a judge and you're saying, no, go home. That's good. And uh, Simon's not very impressed either. But Danny and Cheryl love me. I had the honour of flunk. That's because I'm a flunk? Hey. No, I don't... <laughs> No, I don't think so. I think it's my dashing charm, marvellous singing voice. And then there's this one here from Rebecca in East London. Now, this is slander. Ed loves Shirley. <laughs> it's not true, I don't love Shirley. <laughs> Shirley doesn't really look like that, does she? She looks in a horrendous state there. Because the hair's too short. I mean, the rest of it's pretty accurate, but the hair's all wrong. So, uh, so we'll shred those at ten past six. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, if you would like to send in a picture of us getting up some stuff so we can destroy it, send it to The Shredder. CBC, PO Box 9989, London. We can email it to. Oh, yeah, I'm going to see that. See, I'll take your fin better already. And now you're real again. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to see that. Expended too much energy. Indeed. Yes, well, why don't you just watch a bit more telly? Yeah? Here's crisis control. Hello! Oh. Hope you enjoy Crisis Control. It's Friday. Oh. I'm Ed, and he's ill. Oh. After eating too many burgers oh. all week, you're not feeling better at all. Oh. You don't think the thought of a cake later might make you feel better, yeah? yeah you think you can manage some cake? <laughs> There's never an excuse to turn down cake. Yes, oh. I agree with you. Oh. I agree. You see, every Friday, Shirley's been baking a cake. And uh, this Friday is a bit unusual, isn't it, Shirley? Mm. So, so what would you at home like to see in a cake? You know, would you like some peanuts, maybe, or uh, marshmallows, or, or something a bit weird, like some baked beans or some cheese? Eh, I'm going to ask. Uh, yes, maybe some of that. Hey. Some, some fish. <laughs> yes, why don't you email them in, though, and we, maybe your cake can get made next week. How hey. do you want to do the email address? I did it, I did it. Oh, yeah, I haven't got the energy. It doesn't take much energy to read out an email. I just does got the okay. Oh, right, fine, yes. Right. See you off, Tracy Beaker. <sighs> Hello! Welcome back, if you've been watching all afternoon, and welcome if you just turned over from BBC One. Um, Outro's having a little bit of a sleep, because he's been a bit ill today. Probably a good idea, actually. He needs to conserve his energy for shredder time later. See, don't they? Oh, that's cute. He's dreaming about it. <laughs> oh. But before that, it's time for traps. Traps. Yeah, trapped. You're not asleep at all, are you? 